Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY that can help you with hair growth. If you are interested in this video, then please stay tuned. So the first ingredient that you're going to need for this DIY is going to be a quarter cup of fenugreek seeds. When it comes to fenugreek, it helps in treating dandruff, itchy and flaky scalp, treating hair loss, triggering hair growth, adding loss shine to your hair, and also helps to regrow your lost hair. While it stimulates blood flow to the scalp, it also nourishes the hair follicles to promote faster and healthier new growth. And if you are losing hair due to menopause, it is highly recommended to use fenugreek since it is high in estrogen and helps to prevent hair from thinning. The second ingredient that you're going to need for this DIY is going to be three cloves of garlic. When it comes to garlic, it is high in vitamins and minerals such as vitamins B6 and C, magnesium and selenium, all of which promote healthy hair. It also boosts collagen production that helps stimulate hair growth. The presence of selenium content in garlic helps to boost blood circulation for maximum nourishment. Garlic also contains calcium, which helps in strengthening the structural components of your hair. The vitamin C found in garlic protects your hair from free radicals and prevents hair thinning and hair loss. And the third ingredient that you're going to need for this DIY is going to be a quarter of a large onion or one small onion. When it comes to onions, it helps nourish your hair follicles with its rich content of sulfur. Sulfur is essential for the regeneration of your hair follicles. The rich sulfur content also helps minimize hair thinning and breakage. The antioxidants help reverse permanent graying and delay graying. Onions rich antibacterial properties help keep your scalp healthy and free of infection, promoting unhinged hair growth. Also, these same properties help control dandruff. Onion stimulates the scalp and improves blood circulation, resulting in follicles that are well nourished. And the fourth ingredient is going to be one tablespoon of ginger juice. Ginger increases the scalp circulation that results in the flow of blood to the scalp. It also stimulates the hair follicles and encourages growth. The fatty acids in ginger are beneficial for thin hair. So the first step to this DIY is that you want to have about three to four cups of water boiling on the stove. And then once it gets to a nice simmer, you just want to go ahead and add all the ingredients except for the ginger into the pot. But if you're going to be using a whole ginger, then you could add the ginger into the pot as well. So you want to allow this to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the fenugreek seeds have become tender. So a way to check to see if the fenugreek seeds are ready, all you have to do is just grab one and then just squeeze it. If you're able to just add a light pressure to it and it just falls apart, then it's ready. But if you feel some resistance, then let it sit for about another five minutes or until it becomes tender. So now you just want to take all the ingredients and pour it into a blender and then you just want to blend it until everything becomes a nice smooth consistency. Also, if you notice that the mixture is becoming very thick and not really moving that much around in the blender, then you can add additional water.
So now you just want to run the hair mask through a cheesecloth just to get rid of the little seeds that can be found in the fenugreek. You don't want to get that stuck in your hair. Lastly, you just want to add the ginger juice to the hair mask. Once you've done that and you blended everything together, then the hair mask is ready to be used. So when it comes to the use of this hair mask, you can use it as often as you wash your hair. You can use it as a pre-poo treatment, which you would apply it before you shampoo your hair. And you would let it sit on your hair for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then you'll rinse it out with some warm water. And then you'll follow up with your shampoo and conditioner. Also, you can use it after you've shampooed your hair. Just apply it to your hair from root to ends. Leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse it out with warm water and then follow up with your favorite deep conditioner. When it comes to the shelf life of this DIY, you can place it into the refrigerator and it should last about two to three weeks. Also, if you want it to last longer than that, you can place it into the freezer and it should last about six to eight months. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out creolelily.com. The link is always down in the description box. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.